Hi, I'm Justin Kirk, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this um, door blackness. So the original doors that I had, they just had a dark uh, cube inside of the door like this. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert this black cube into something that actually looks like a door would look in a game like this. So like you can see that it, you can kind of see like a glow, like a black glow on the door. And then at the bottom, there's like um, a floor, floor panels or whatever that like kind of lead into the door. It makes it look a lot more realistic. So I'm going to show you how you can convert this door to this door. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is create a material. And uh, you can just call this like door black or something. And uh, you're going to need two, two materials. So um, you can call it door black one or just door black. It doesn't matter. And then just change it to transparent. And then on your frame or the blackness of the door, you can just drag this one. Right. And then in this, just change this. So when it's transparent, change this to black and then just change the alpha down. And you could make this one like uh, pretty low, like um, maybe 40 is fine. Now, you can barely see that. But what we're going to do is we're going to stack multiple of these in a row. So if you copy this door blackness and paste it on top of itself, right? And then you can change the scale. So like if you bring this out, let's uh, create another material. And we'll call this um, door black two. Oops. Door black two. And then it's the same kind of deal. Just make it transparent and then just make the opacity just a little bit more. So maybe like 67 or something like that. And then we'll put this on the second door, like the second blackness of the door. And then we'll just move this. And we, we actually want this to be behind the first one. So like it starts out dark and then it gets darker and darker as it goes backwards. So you might have to make these temporarily stronger so you can see where they are. Uh, let me just do that. Hang on. Okay, so the first one is going out of the door still. So we just want this to be directly under the door. Like, see in the bottom that it kind of lines up there. And then we want the second one to just be like right after it. So like right about there. Now let's just change this to a lower alpha. And we can move it just back just a little bit because um, we're only going to make three of these. We're not going to go too crazy. The more you make, the more realistic it will be. Obviously, if you make too many, it will cost you performance. So uh, don't go too crazy. But each one will get progressively more stacked as you go backwards. Yeah, so then when you look at the door, you can kind of see that this turns more and more into a um, faded entrance rather than just being a black cube. So this is only part one of this. So let's just actually make this a little bit darker. Right. So like I said, this is part one of this. And then at the very back, you should have an actual black cube. I have a huge black wall here. So on my top wall, if I zoom out here, you can see there's like a black wall that kind of covers the edges and actually cuts off the edge of it. So it kind of like um, makes it more like of a square room. Um, so like I have just a gigantic black cube here at the back. So if you don't have that in your game, you should put a black cube at the back that will just be pure black and not have any transparency at all to block the back of it. Actually, let me just let me just show you that. Let me just copy one more of these and we'll just call this. Um, actually, um, I already have a door black material, so I can just select that. But it's just um, you should make this unlit. So the door black material that is solid black, just make it unlit. That way it can be pure black rather than if you make it lit, it will be um, only partially black. It will still be affected by light. So um, you don't want that. And then let me just see. So this is right here. So you can see the back of this is completely black. And for me, I'd be putting this in this. If you're not putting it in a wall where like if you can see the back of the door still, then you need to make each one of these thinner using the scale to um, go, all of them can fit into the door itself, right? Like you don't have to do it like this. You could just make them the scale lower, but because mine's going into a wall, I'm not gonna bother with that. It's It obviously will be take longer to change the scale of each one to match. So this is the first thing I did to kind of make the door transparent like this, but you can see on the one that I have, like there's like this scrolling texture that's on top of it. And it kind of looks like the door is glowing, like you could go through it. This looks a lot better than a black cube does, but it's not as good as this. This looks significantly better. So what I made was a shader that accomplishes this. So let me just double click on this and then you can copy it. So let me go to the blackboard as well. So you know what we have. 
So you have a time node that gets multiplied by the direction. So for each panel, they're not all going the same direction. So like some are going up, some are going down, etc., to make it kind of like appear like the pixels are going in different directions. And then, um, so multiply those together. And the tiling and offset node is what actually makes it move. This goes into a simple noise. I put this to 200, but your scale can probably be lower because my game is absolutely massive. So like my scale is really, really big. So yours probably needs to be a lower number. This goes into a power node. The lower the number, the more white it gets. And the like the higher the number, the darker the spots become. So then I've multiplied this by a, like um, this section. So if you take a UV node, which is like the coordinates or whatever, there's U and, and oh, sorry, V and U. Swizzle just masks the input. So we only want the Y because we want the bottom of the door to be more transparent than the top of the door. So we, we kind of want like a smooth, like the bottom just needs to not have transparency because if the bottom is transparent, you can see these hard lines on the ground. Like, I don't know if you can see that there, but there's these lines on the ground where you can clearly see the door fading in. We don't want those lines on the ground we want there to be um, like, so the smooth step will prevent those lines from being created on the ground because the bottom is multiplied by a black and it takes away the trend because this is just going into transparency. So this entire shader doesn't go into the color. It only goes into the alpha, which is the transparency. So the black colors are invisible and the white colors are visible right so even though they're white they're actually black so this is just going in for the transparency so we're taking the uv node with only the y channel uh, so y is um like the vertical channel and we're applying a smooth step node which will cause the bottom of it to not be like the bottom will be completely transparent and then the top will be completely visible and then we're multiplying it by this noise which is a scrolling texture which causes the effect that that i'm showing so let me get out of this and I'll show you what it looks like when you actually apply it. So we've got these two materials. So we'll just go uh, door fade shader. And then the other one needs to be that as well. And I did 0 0.4, 0 0.5. And then I have it scrolling one in the Y axis. So you can kind of see that it goes like really, really fast downwards. So I only use two door fades in the actual door. Oh, sorry, three door fades in the actual door, but I have five here. So that obviously has changed the effect. I think that mine looks better, so it might be better to use less. But anyway, let's just set this up as well. So this would be 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 is fine. And then we'll just make this negative one. So this is going to scroll vertically in the opposite direction of the other one. So, I mean, that still looks pretty good. And then the last thing I did was I have this cube that I made in Blender. This is really easy to make. I'll upload this to the video if you don't want to make it. So this is just a cube that I made, okay? So in Blender, if you just take the default cube and you bevel it, that's this. So I just created um, two cubes. I, I, I'm just reusing. This is something that I'm using in a boss room in a different um, room in the, in the game already. But basically, I just took a cube in Blender and I beveled it. That's it. So it, it doesn't, it's nothing special. And then I just put it under the ground so you can't really see it. Um, and it covers like the floor of the entrance like that. So like I said, I'll attach that to the video. Yeah, you don't have to make it. It's, it's pretty easy to make, but uh, you don't have to make it. And uh, if you copy the shader, this should make the door fade. And it looks significantly better than just having a normal like black cube as your door. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.